All right, so we're swapping NVMe SSD by Samsung today. Uh, this is the patient. The reason why I'm swapping it today, let me briefly explain. So I have PC3000 connected to a donor device right now. Donor device here, when we power off the unit and power it back on, this is what happens. We get uh, PHY light, and if we go into universal utility, we can see the ID of the unit. The ID of the unit is described right here. It's a Samsung model number, blah, 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 one terabyte unit. So why do we swap it? Well, because when we remove the memory from the device, we should be getting at least a recognition as a safe mode. Right now, I have the memory removed, as you can see. We plug it into PC3000 without the memory, power up. Consumption, 500 milliamps. Uh, no ID, no PHY. Controller, we're not gonna dig into it, but before uh, the swap, I'll uh, power on the donor board, the slightly darker board, and I'll show you guys that it gets recognized with uh, some sort of Samsung related features. Folder for the device. Very convenient if you're doing swaps, but the memory is already removed, so I really don't need to worry about that. The memory is up here in this bag. So for the swap, I'll use this paste PPD Pro, this tool right here to lift our chips. And obviously we're gonna need hot air. We heat the sticker and slice it off. All right, so um, I ran out of flux on my last job, so I'm using this flux by tool. I'm not sure exactly what to expect from it. Their fixture tools are pretty good, but flux is a little different, and I'm really used to my uh, MG Chemicals go-to flux. Um, let's see if we can get away without it today. To remove chips I use higher um, temperatures like 390 on the SSD because the board is gonna soak up a lot of heat. And um, Just want to mark the chip number one. Also, um, might want. Now we don't need the guidelines because the chips are actually guided in pretty well, all on their own. What can I say about this flux? It's really liquid. So it looks like this SSD has chips that are glued in on the corners at least. Ideal process for something like this obviously would be like a CNC rotary machine. Yeah, it's got a lot of glue, I don't like that. As our reference board, as our donor board, right?
lots of pads are gone with the wind but they're not connected to anything so who cares if the pad is connected to something it's gonna usually leave a trace from being ripped out but all of these ones here don't seem to have any connections that's fine by me all right so let's just put these resistors back in Yeah, obviously before we mount any chips onto this board, we have to make sure that um, all the exposed pads are sealed off and uh, none of the missing pads are critical. This set that's missing here is all good. This set is all good. That's fine. These two are nothing. That right there is a little concerning. This cut right here. Let's uh, test the board and I wanted to show you what it should be getting recognized as when the NAND is not connected to the device. It starts in a safe mode. Power up. You see BHY is on. But uh, if we go into universal utility right now, it should give us something in this corner as far as the ID goes. Yeah, so SM, NVMe ROM, um, firmware, one gig. That's safe mode. Yeah, this area needs a bit of work. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put like a little bit of it here, and then we can just spread it around later. So, Grab a knife. We need something precise. Start sealing off these exposed spots that could be eventually causing issues for us if they're left exposed like this. Sadly, uh, SSDs that use underfill or glue like this it's kind of bound to happen if you remove without a grinder as I said I'd love to have a grinder but it seems like you know maybe there's just more trouble to it than just doing it by hand what I mean is that uh, these grinders are built and uh, customized for uh, something that's more mainstream like iPhone repair and stuff like that, iPhone data recovery, and SSD, it's more of a you know custom application. So grinding chips off of a, a board like that probably will need some sort of manual input to be set up.
but it's nice, it's going pretty quick. those during the mounting process all right so uh, the chips are fixed up the pads I mean um, for the chips are fixed up uh, we're gonna grab this thing it's um, UV light powerful very powerful let's get this away from it Okay, that's done. Now we're just gonna reball the chips. And that's the second chip. Oh, this uh, flux smells like maple syrup. Okay, so the both chips shifted into uh, into the ground. Now they're gonna need to float. Beautiful. The resistors are in place. The ends are good. I'm not sure about this capacitor. It's got a lot of solder on there. <clears throat> Let's see. Ooh. That looks like it's still fixed. I'll let it cool off a little bit. Let's take it out for now to see how we did. The board is slightly curved. I blame it on the on the jig though because it's holding it in a specific way. The connector isn't covered in flux, so we can safely plug it in. All right, a moment we all been waiting for. F11. PHY light is on. Universal utility. Consumption is good. We got ID. Sector edit. Oh man. This is the first sector. This is our last sector. Everything in between 
is up for grabs. Right, so uh, let's go. <laughs> Imagine this thing has bit locker that we can't obtain from the client. That would be something. Okay, uh, this is the basic partition. Let's get the MFT map out. So, scan it. Oh, this looks beautiful, guys. I don't know, I don't know about you, but seeing these green blocks is very exciting for me. Um, switch to copy only, and let's uh, scan. MFT record. We're creating this onto uh, a hard drive based virtual machine, so the bottleneck is probably at the hard drive speed. So, yeah, guys, this was great. I love how this came about. So, this is the final result. As you can see, the whole thing is cloned. We go to task statistics, the entire unit is copied zero bad sectors and one sector modified for the boot not to load on the virtual machine perfect recovery guys come back for more videos subscribe like share comment and etc <laughs> see you next time